Decoherence rolled out their turbo stable video that uses Stability AI's SDXL. The one thing that's different with this compared to all the other AI video generators is that it will allow you to generate a starting image in real time, give you a variety of options to choose from, then generate the video. If you want to check this out, the link will be on the description section below. Once you've registered, it should bring you to this page here. There's two ways that you can generate an AI video. One is image to video where you just upload an image and generate the video and the next one is the text to image to video all right for this we'll start with the image to video and i'll start by uploading an image once your image is up you just have to adjust the level of motion that you want and for this i'll just leave the motion somewhere right in the middle of there and i'll click on generate and it should start generating the video which is what you can see there on a queue and from this we have the video it looks exactly the same as the image we have the motion in the water and another image that i decided to try is of a spaceship taking off as you can see the spaceship is actually taking off which is kind of cool the cat eating spaghetti and the cat is not exactly eating the spaghetti but you can see the motion or the actions of it eating the spaghetti and the last one we have an image of a car packed on the drive through and the video is showing the car moving off next we can move to the next way of generating the images which starts with you describing the scene we could say a futuristic car racing first on a desert road and as you can see all the images were generated in real time and each image was generated as we described a word and from here you can choose any of the images you like before you start generating a video and i like this one and from here i can choose what aspect ratio i want the video to be so in this case i will stick with the 16 by 9 i will choose the motion level that i would like which is kind of three quarters and i'll click generate and i should have my video generating here and from that we've got this beautiful car the videos are generally about four seconds and it's amazing look at that we could also change and instead of the car we can have a train and as you can see the images they change in real time again and then from here you do the same thing you choose the image of the train that you would like to generate the video from i'll choose this one because you can see quite a bit of it i'll change the aspect ratio just for us to see how different that can be i'll choose the square and again we can choose a different image if that's what we want or we can stick to something that we liked before anyway i'll stick with this one click on that and we'll choose the motion level i'll put it somewhere in the center there and i'll click generate if i go down here i should see my video being generated and there we go we've got the train it's moving nicely the aspect ratio is a square and exactly what we asked for this is mwah. another thing we could do we could do some Something completely different monkeys playing with bananas we can choose the image that we would like to work with and in this case i'm not fussy we can have this one and see where that takes us again we just change the motion if that's what we want we can also change the aspect ratio again and i'll go back to the 16 by 9 and there we go the images look a bit different when i change the aspect ratio <laughs> is something to know and from here i'll just choose this one stick with that we've got the motion going and i'll click generate and if i go down here again i'll see the video is generating and there we go we've got the video of the monkeys playing with a banana or something that's morphing into something yellow but as you can see it's a video when i say generating images in real time it's like a uh, dog as soon as i put the word dog you start you should start seeing images of dog and if i can change it in a car you should start seeing dog in a car and if i say wearing you start seeing a dog wearing something a uh, blue you should start seeing dogs with something in blue or the car is blue or i could say the word uh hat and you start seeing a dog wearing a hat which is kind of cool with 
the wind blowing i think we should start seeing the effects of something like the wind blowing or something like that so when i speak about generating images in real time that's exactly what i mean all right that's that that has been decoherence if you want to try this the link will be on the description section below currently it's free to use or it has a free version that you could use it also has a paid version but everything that i have done i've used the free version to do this video thank you for watching until next time bye bye